Okay, I got some questions on basic knife handling, the handling of folding knives. Now, I cannot show you every type of folding knife ever made, um, but I'm going to show you uh, two basic types. I think those are the types that you will find most often. This is a Buck Ranger, which has a back lock, and this is an M-Tech. I don't know, to be honest, which model it is. It's an M-Tech knife, and this has a liner lock. Let's have a look at this buck knife first. So I'm talking about very basic stuff. A lot of people who are watching these videos have handled knives before, but I got this question from people who have not, who have never really held a knife and they're not so comfortable opening it, using it, closing it, etc. So a knife like this, you see it has a little groove there. Okay, that groove is used for a very simple purpose. You put your thumbnail in it, you open up the knife and you hear that click, that satisfying click means that the back lock, look at this little button there, clicks in place. See that? Now the knife can no longer accidentally close, so when I hit this, it's not going to snap shut on my fingers, it's a protection device. Alright, so when you do your cutting, you don't accidentally have it fold closed on your fingers, cut yourself, etc. That's how you do it. Now what you see is that when I open it, I'm very careful and I go slow and my fingers at no point are near the cutting edge because that cutting edge is basically a razor blade and you don't play with razors either. Okay, <clears throat> and there are many ways you can open a knife like this too. You could flick it like that and then it opens too and that looks very cool but you should wonder whether you really want to do that because especially when you are outdoors uh, I'm not even talking about a survival situation although it is particularly important there um, but don't fool around a knife is very sharp and these bucks for example are very heavy so if you do this you see it doesn't even it's a little hot in the camera but again you can do it but if you lose this if you lose your grip on the blade this flies away it flies into your leg into someone else or even if you just get hit by the pommel this is solid brass that gives you a lot of pain so be responsible about these kinds of things okay when it comes to putting the knife away with a back lock like this, you have to push this thing and then what you see is that that gets lifted up and that releases the blade lock and now it's locked again. When I close it, I'm very simple, it's, this is the way I do it. I put my thumb in here, I put my finger on there, I release the lock and as soon as the, the blade starts to move and again notice how I'm holding it, my fingers are not close to the edge at any time, I put my fingers out of harm's way I close the knife by folding it all the way in and I'm not letting it go because if my fingers happen to slip at just that moment you can lose a piece of your nail for example um, and yes many of these lessons are learned the hard way okay so that's a back lock all right now let's have a look at a liner lock you see that liner lock right there okay so this is a knife that you can flick open. It's not assisted opening, that is just by a little bit of motion. You see that little knob there? You can put your thumb on it and with one hand you can open this blade. And then what happens is that in here, I'll try to zoom in a bit so I can show you a little bit better. Uh, I know it's a bit dark, I'm recording this at night, you see that thing here. And that is moving against the blade so that when I push this, that gets in the way and the knife will not snap shut on me. When I want to release this lock, I push down on it, and I can't read, I'm not sure if I can do it with my thumb, but you can see that whole metal part moves out of the way just a little bit, and that releases the lock, there you, now you can see it pretty well, that releases the lock on the blade, and then, I'm going to zoom out again, do the same thing I did before, close it, no problems. I do not get close to the edge at all at any time. Now, this blade doesn't have a thumb groove, right? So you really have to open this. Uh, you can do that in a couple of ways. This knife also has a flipper there, which you can push down on, and then the knife will pop out. It's not spring-loaded, that is just gravity, okay? And if you combine that with a flick of your wrist, you will hear the blade lock into place. That again is something that I would not typically do. 
because I don't want this again to, to I lose my grip on it and the whole knife is sent spinning. When I open a blade like this, I use that thumb button and I do it like that. So I don't go for a super speedy thing. Um, I just go for a slow motion movement because I know I have control of the blade. Then I can readjust my grip and I can do the cutting, whatever I want to cut. And when I'm done, there we go again. Okay, basic knife safety. A knife is a weapon. It's just the way it is. It's a sharp tool, a sharp object. And as with any weapon or any sharp object, you have to be careful with it. Um, that means no fooling around or, you know, tomfoolery or whatever stuff you do to impress people. Because that can end up with you getting hurt and you don't really impress people when you try to do a cool knife trick and you accidentally cut off your thumb. Um, second thing I would like to point out, and this may sound very basic, but cut away from yourself. When you are cutting something, cut away. Do not cut towards yourself. That may sound like common sense, but think about it. Evaluate the things you cut, for example when you're cooking or opening a parcel, and look at how many times you're cutting towards yourself. Now clearly when you're cutting your cucumber or whatever you are going to cut towards yourself but you're on a cutting board. That's going to be alright. When you're cutting branches, making feather sticks, um, even opening parcels, usually you can cut away from yourself, right? With carving feather sticks you can cut away from yourself. Opening a parcel you can cut away from yourself. Um, I once opened something I was in town, I was sitting in a restaurant, I wanted to open up something, wanted to remove some packaging material. I had my larger version of this, the Hunter, and I was cutting like this, so diagonally upwards toward my hand that I was holding. And while I was doing it, I thought this is probably not a good idea. The knife slipped and it hit my, uh, uh, the underside of my ring finger right there, and there was quite some blood. And in a restaurant, believe me, it's not the greatest thing to do. In fact, it's nowhere, no matter where you are, it's not a great thing to do. And all of that could have been avoided if I would have thought to cut away from myself. Okay, so my basic safety, opening with care, closing with care, no fancy tricks, and cutting away from yourself. I think that is pretty much all you need to know about knife safety. I hope this was useful. Knife's tool, use it responsibly, and uh, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.